Welcome back. I'm Rob Lang and this is my co-op exploration game, Clomper. This week I added a few clouds to the outside world so that when you look down at the Grabber Crucible here, it would look more interesting. I'm not aiming for a finished product, just better than bland. But the main job this week was rewriting the algorithm that calculates how much steam each station gets. To explain it, let's look at what I'm trying to achieve. If you understand any of this, please let me know down in the comments. I want steam to flow from the boilers through pipes to the stations that need the steam. I don't want an accurate simulation, it needs to be close enough to reality that players can use their real world experience to solve problems. Some stations, like the map, require a minimum steam level and have a capped maximum steam that they will take. Other stations, like the leg here, will take as much as you give them. In the future, I want valves to restrict flow and some stations to be damaged if fed too much steam. With that in mind, let's use this example of a single boiler connected with two paths to a single station. We're going to take this setup and turn it into a diagram called a graph. To turn it into a graph, each station and pipe becomes a circle called a node. To show how they join together, we draw a line called an edge. My original algorithm was a breadth first search, link below. Breadth first search begins with a boiler and adds each node it is connected to, to a list. It then takes the first one and adds its connections to the list, and then the second, and so on. It carries on until it's visited all the nodes. While doing that, we keep track of the route back to the boiler so that when all the nodes have been visited, we know which stations are connected to which boilers. A boiler uses that knowledge to share its steam between all its stations. Breadth first search is limited in that it finds the shortest path in terms of the number of nodes, not necessarily the one with the least resistance. So let's take our example and pretend we have a valve up here and lots of pipes down here. The shortest path is the one with the valve, but the easiest path, the one with the least resistance and no valve, is the longer one. So breadth first search will take us through the valve. I knew about this limitation of breadth first search before I started Clomper. I chose it because it was quick and allowed me to test the game's concepts. Now let's reuse our example with a new algorithm. To find the right algorithm, you need to choose your model carefully. Our graph diagram so far has been okay, but we need to add some detail. We want to say that every pipe has a resistance Normal pipes have a tiny resistance. Valves have resistance that can change. I settle on Dijkstra's algorithm. Now Dijkstra starts with a node, sets its distance to zero, and then works outwards, calculating the distance using the edge values. Now we don't have edge values, so I take the resistance of the node we're moving to. It ends up working out the same. You keep going, and if you encounter a node with a value already, just take the lowest. While doing that loop, I can also propagate the steam, subtracting resistance as I go. Once every node has been checked, I know then that the station will have the path to the least resistance. I do that for every boiler and add up the result. There are some other details, but that's the crux of it. Performance-wise, Dijkstra's algorithm isn't the most efficient, but I will only have a few hundred nodes at most and the graph will be sparse, which means a few edges. I don't have valves yet, but I can simulate them using a slider in a custom editor in Unity. Red pipes shown here have 400 steam, moving through orange and yellow and green to blue, which have none. My default resistance is 0.1, so you can see the steam decreasing as it moves away from the boiler. Putting in UA elements was quick and instrumental for debugging this algorithm. Well done for getting through to the end. The next feature I'll be implementing will be... Valves. I can feel the collective sigh coming from the audience. Finally, he's putting valves in. If you understood any of this video, please leave a comment. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then please sub. Thank you very much.
バイバイ。